Hello everyone, my name is the Sparrow Journey and we are back to The Escapist with a full new, brand new season. Season 7 in San Pacho, the new, uh, uh, the new prison layout called San Pacho, which was included in the last patch and that you have been long waiting for. We're gonna start 2015 in a glorious, glorious way. And as always, I am down to choose new inmates new guards and also a new character for my adventure in San Pacho who that is I'm gonna keep it as a surprise until a few more minutes I love the new song in the menu is so cool it sounds like 80s and 90s together people escaping the prison in the 90s I was born in the 90s. Did my mother escape to get pregnant? Let's play a game and let's get into San Pacho. Now, what is the, the what is the character that I've chosen? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you first and foremost the look of it and then tell you who that is. This is the one. Probably the one that looks much closer than anybody else. And that guy is called Michael Schofield. Yes, I have to check the paper because I couldn't remember who I've chosen. Michael Schofield is the character, one of the main protagonists of Prison Break, that series, that very known series. I didn't watch them myself and I feel really bad for it. It might be a shot in the dark making an adventure season with a character from a series that I haven't watched. What a terrible idea! Thing is, this San Pacho layout is a sort of parody to Prison Break and the prison they have there when they are in the second... the end of the second season and the start of the third season where Michael Schofield is in prison in Penitenciaria Federal de Sona. That's what this layout should be called, but they call it San Pacho to kind of make it a little bit more funny. Either way, Michael, it might be something else. Maybe Michael Sko, because I won't be able to write all of that. Michael Ski. Michael Ski. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna call him M. Schofield. There! I've nailed it! People have been doing this for years now, in documents and whatnot, but now I just discovered how to do it. Let's continue, and let's choose San Pacho. It is the only new prison layout we have out right now. New one. In the future, we will have HPM Iron Gate with dwarves and elves and humans. San Pacho, it is a hard prison, so we're gonna have to be careful. Let's continue and choose this is the moment you probably are most waiting for. New inmates' names and new guard may, uh, names. Now, as I've been always been doing in the past, I'm gonna give priority to the, to the donators that haven't been included in any season so far. And after that, if I still have some room left, I will pick randomly people from my videos. So let's get started. I gotta say it's getting pretty difficult to include everyone that donates on the inmates and on the guards names in my discapest seasons I didn't even have room to pick randomly a name from my videos on YouTube so all these names right here are people that donated either on my Patreon page or on my Twitch live streams so we're gonna start by G Dunlop I found your last name much more funny than your first so I prefer to have it this way, so that I, when I'm playing, I can call you Dunlop, Dunlop, Dunlop. I like it, I don't know why. F. Matelsky, or Matelsky. Probably that's the better. Strugakatska. We're gonna have a fun time when I try to pronounce your name. Strugataska. Tom Hennin. Joseph Crew, which is supposed to be Joseph Cruz, but your full name doesn't fit here. Brady Biwa. Biwao. Ringo Sham, Liam LeFou, or Liam LeFou, Granny Cookie, I made kind of a sheeting there, I didn't use two N's, I just used one so that I can remember who you are, Granny Cookies, you're gonna be pretty useful in this prison, you're gonna make me some cookies, Elios of HD, Artai, 
Esparo, Mindweld, Zack, Officer in Plush, these are the officers now, and this first line are the Patreon donators, I think, and from here are my Twitch donators. Officer Bald Sky, oh, Bal Balds, Baldy Soft Knuckles, that's, that's who you are, I think, but obviously your full name doesn't fit here. Officer Psycho the Great, yeah, I remember you. Officer Ray Dare. Officer G Genetics, Gene Ticks, my God. Officer Rourke Sui, Sui. Officer Tajman, I hope you guys know who you are by just having your small name over here. A Logos, Taman, and a Killer. I wish I had much more room to include people randomly for my videos, but I think it's only fair if I give priority to the people that actually donate to the cause. So without anything else to say. Let's start! Arriba! Here we are. This is a notorious San Pacho, the roughest, toughest, and downright nastiest prison south of the border. The blistering heat and claustrophobic conditions here turns out our inmates angry and violent. Even the guards daren't enter. Warden Paul Suarez. Paul Suarez is always present in my gameplay. Never me. I am never in my own game. Even though I have my face in the corner of the video. Either way, this San Pacho prison layout has a lot of particularities on it. The first one, the very first one, you share your prison cell with three more guys. Well, actually, I'm only challenging sharing with two because one is missing they already start killing people and I'm not even playing so let's get a calm and make a calm chiv our very first weapon of this season calm chiv Michael Schofield I know this guy talks a lot like this he's very calm but he's a genius so we'll be out of here in no time what a god shameful lie you know what I want to do? You know what I like to do? I like to find new ways of escaping different from the previous seasons. I like to provide entertainment by trying different and new things. I also like to get all the prisoners' stashes. Let's see if we can make that happen. Now we're starting with 30 strength, 30 speed and 30 intellect, just like in most prison layouts. But if you check this prisoner's stats... They are freaking crazy! 98 speed! Together with 76 strength. Ringo Sham, 90 speed! And 87 strength. So you're basically put into this fortress of madmen with incredibly blah, 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 strength. I can't even speak anymore. So I guess one of my first priorities right now would be getting stats because. As you can see here, they also don't like you from the very start. This guy has a shit opinion about me. Four opinion out of 100. I just noticed I swear. Well, shit is okay. Shit is okay. Shit, shit is just a word. So you're basically put into this fortress of gorillas, and I think I missed who's gonna have a cell search. Oh, here we go. Schofield and Circus Kaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskaskask
I'm, I'm a weak guy. Find me a water putty and I'll make it worth your while. Now let's try and look for, you know, easier to complete jobs. Yesterday, my pack of playing cards vanished. Now I'm hearing that Officer Rourke, Sue, has it. Could you get it back for me? No. Wait a second. This maybe affect your opinion? There we go. I'm gonna get down. Or maybe not. There's no metal detectors either. So this is amazing. Poncho! That would be amazing if I could use this. Let's take all this good stuff from him. Do I really want a poncho? Why not? Arriba! That's gonna be the saying of this season. Arriba. So we got ourselves a new weapon. Progress. Comblade, which is better. No, actually it's not. You know, this weapon should be better. It should be 2.5. That would be more fair. So we got a glass shard. I would believe they already searched my cell. I have a job to complete. Cannot forget that. Let's leave here the glass shard. We have something to dig with already. Already. And let's try to give this to someone. I don't know. Zach, you want to be my friend? You want to meet my little friend? Whoa, thanks! You like that. Okay, granny cookies. For now, I'm good with cookies. Let me just give you my poncho. So, the job you start with is the gardening. What I love. No, I don't. Let's get the hoe. And let's complete this. At the very start of the game, I always advise people... Oh my god, seriously? I want to complete my job! <laughs> there, that's my complete gone. I gotta be careful with this. So, this is why I say one of my first priorities in this game, well, if it is one of my first, yes, it is a priority, is to improve my stats. And ladies and gentlemen, there are news on that as well. You now have new ways of improving your stats. Actually, it's the same way than before. Manuel, are you gonna kick my nuts? Dude, he is kicking my nuts. Dude, I want to complete my gardening job! Oh my god. This will never end well. I'm a bold guy. Is that why you like me? Does the sun reflect the light to your face? That's why you don't like me? Maybe that's it. But hey, I'm a very calm dude and I'm a, I'm a genius. So this is how you improve your stats now, your physical stats. They are much harder, but they are, let's say, more entertaining in a way that you actually feel encouraged to do so and keep doing so. It actually keeps uh, your attention to it. Uh, how did I do it? Uh, wait, there we go. So, the boxing thing to improve your strength is just like this. You have, to, you have to press down one key and drop it or stop holding it when you reach the max bar. You know, this is much better than just... And just smash your keyboard. Much more interesting if you ask me. People are saying that it's harder. I do agree with you on the speed. Increasing your speed is much harder. So you gotta come here into the skipping. And what you gotta do is press, if I'm not mistaken, there we go. You gotta, you gotta press Q, the same key you use for strength, okay? On the very last bit, millisecond of the bar. So I do agree with you, it's much harder, but it's also much more entertaining or at least enjoyable. Maybe after some time it's becoming tiresome, but either way it's much better than doing this! Won't you say? I would like to run! Run! Dude, I want your stuff, come on. Burrito! Am I hungry? Restores tan fatigue, oh yeah, I'm taking that. Liam LeFou doesn't like me, so I don't care if I just take your stuff. I'm gonna make you naked. I'm gonna make your skin... Bloster. Is that a word? I might need a Prisoner of War outfit, who knows. Burrito. I know that people become happy when they eat a burrito. That's, that's done. Let me see, let me see. You. You don't have a good opinion about me, so here's a burrito! Enjoy it. My god, he didn't. Okay, let's check these guys' cells, these guys' desks. Let's try to pay attention and not hit a cell or a desk uh, that the owner is coming by. I could take these comps to make them my friends. That would be a good plan as well. You know, I want to accept some favors, so... Red Chili! What the hell does this do? I wonder. Here, have my hoe. Have fun with my, my hoe. Let's try to accept some favors, see if they want a book or a pack of playing cards. Actually, there's not too many favors. 
Here we go. Find me a water putty. You again? Water putty is not easy to come by. You see here this red stroke around the buttons? I don't like this. Now, this should be... This inclines me to believe that when you click no, and I know this happens, you decrease their opinion about you by rejecting a job they have. But accepting it should at least not decrease the opinion, but it still has a red stroke, so I do believe that maybe it doesn't do any harm. Let's see. Ma ma, ma Matelski. Matelski, what do you have for me? Matelski! You want me to brush your hair? No! He wants me to beat Officer Rourke. These are the two only jobs out there available, and they're actually not that cool. Dunlop! What are you selling? Screwdriver Timber. Now, let's see what other jobs do we have other than the gardening one. Where is actually that? I think it's down here on the bottom left corner. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be honest. I've played this prison layout for at least five days on my Twitch live stream, so I'm not a complete noob on it. But when it comes to get out of this square area, I'm a complete blank. I don't know what will happen. So we have the, here the tailor, the library, the kitchen, the unloading. I haven't been doing this job that much, unloading. I like the kitchen, I like to have the the chance of having the kitchen so that I can make some, some turkey legs. Because they love them. They love turkey legs more than woman legs. So if I want any of these jobs, I gotta beat these people. And I can't do that, absolutely cannot do that. Without a good weapon and a decent armor and good stats. So one of the struggles in this season will be increasing your stats. Red chili, why do I want this? I don't even know. I'm gonna try to improve my opinion with these guys by giving them crap. Like, Ringo Sham, would you like a watch? There we go, he likes that. Let's take the lighter. This could be useful. Where is my desk? There we go, I'm still getting used to the layout, dude. Still getting used. So let's leave here the nails, the lighter. The calm? Why do I have a calm? To give to people for opinion. Okay, I get it. Let's get the soap, the toilet paper, and the toothpaste. These are always items that I will never use. Why would I use a toothpaste? My teeth are broken from getting beaten by these guys with their hard punches. Why do I want the soap? I don't shower. Or oh, they would just hurt my butt. I believe so. Helios Full HD. Is that your name? Hope it is. Here, have a soap. Have fun in the shower. <laughs> He doesn't like that. Let's see. Who from you wants my toilet paper? You, mind well. Here's my toilet paper. Have fun, dude. A crafting note and a file. Let's see. Lightweight cutters. As far as I'm concerned, I checked the crafting page on the wiki, on the escapists, and I didn't see any new um, items to craft. Now, I do want them to increase the recipes on the game because we have so many items that we don't even know what to do with them I really think they should have more there was a naked dude I think it was Dunlop I took his prisoner of or outfit but apparently then they now dress themselves right away okay let's keep the pack of playing cards and the book let's get rid of the tube of toothpaste and this comp let's make it a, a, a comp shiv Artai, here we go. A new weapon for you, for your collection, because I do believe you have a collection of weapons. Uh, let's see, let's check these guys' desks. For this very first episode, my focus will be... Sand? Oh yeah, because we are now in the prisoner in the desert. So when we dig, we will probably find sand. Golden dirt. Here's a chocolate. Man, it's not a good idea to have a chocolate in this desert. It should melt. It should be immediately the molten chocolate, which with which I can just beat one guy down like nothing. You know, I can't just make favors happen with that. That might be a good idea, getting chocolate, getting a cup and a lighter. Instead of increasing my stats all the way up, oh my god, Liam Lefoe doesn't like me. Do I have any illegal items? No, I don't. So just beat my ass and I'll be grateful because I want to get back to the infirmary. It's too hot outside. Evening meal, let's get it, even though I don't need to eat. But I want to keep my guard heat down, you know. I have, <laughs> in the past season, I got my guard heat up the roof. I want to try and see if I can get a much lower average. I think I'm able to do that if I don't start 
doing stupid stuff like stealing stuff while the guards are here because there is no metal detectors at least not here in this in indoors if you know what i mean even though we are out in the street over here guarding job oh so we have two job periods in this prison layout as well okay a lot of lighters chocolate i need cups Okay, I need cups, and we can make favors happen with that. That would be amazing. Let's get a hoe. Let's get my hoe. My hoe should always be coming with me, because it is my hoe. And nobody got a mess with my hoe! Please don't beat me. Oh my god. I am supposedly a genius. Spatula, here's a, an item that I don't know what to do with it. But I can do something with Jar of Ink. I do believe they should really include some more recipes. Because we are so concentrated in this square, things might be easier and faster to accomplish. Like when you're looking for something, when you're looking for prisoners and whatnot, these guys' bodies are getting out of their position. That is strange. Who are you? You're strange. Bottle of sleeping pills. I don't even know what's that useful for. So I'm gonna check these guys' desks for a little while more as I've said before or try to say because I'm always getting derailed my very first episode wh what we have dirt as well oh that's when you dig really deep down you go through the sand and you find dirt I already have red chili and I don't know what to do with it I'm gonna give it to someone I don't know if these people are Mexican Ringo Sham are you Mexican Arriba! He's not Mexican. Oh, we would just love to have that. My first objective here in this very first episode would probably be getting items randomly to start nailing out our approach to this prison. Oh my god. I'm gonna he leave here the tube of bleach. Uh, you can use that for a guard outfit, but you can easily get a guard outfit by beating down a guard, even though they are very strong. And they are afraid of us. They never come here into our circle of fun I'm gonna need these magazines to make a lot of posters okay here's my idea here's my very first idea of the thing I should probably try to accomplish uh, at the very start of the game so I'm gonna give this red chili to someone don't know what to do with it the burritos although I can restore 10 fatigue that would be grateful and nails and I'm gonna leave here the book I don't know if I will make the armor or not. I'm missing roll of duct tape. Now, will that work in this hot season? I'm not sure. I'm gonna bring my cooked food with me. Bingo Sham, you have a sombrero! What for? I don't know. Hey, because I'm bold, I don't have hair to protect my boldness, my brain. I'm gonna leave. just take your sombrero. Wouldn't it be just awesome if I could equip the sombrero? Man, it would be amazing. I could distinguish myself on the prison against the other guys. Either way, what I was about to tell you is my first priority would probably be getting these prisoner stashes because they can help. Also, this will allow me to go up the ladder. And I could do that either getting this key, the orange key, the utility key, or bringing down this wall. But I think I'm gonna do just that, bringing down this wall. So I'm gonna need a lot of posters for that. It's something I've did on the previous season, but you know what? In the season, in season seven, you know, quite far away from the very first, it's becoming harder and harder to find new ways of escaping and not using ways that I've did previously. So we just gotta go with that. We, we gotta go with repeating some of the stuff we've did before. Hey, Zach, do you like hotness? Guess not. What can I do with red chili? Nobody likes it. You're supposed to be Mexicans! You're supposed to like it. Here, what about a sombrero? God dang it, really? What about cooked food? I know you like this. There we go. OMG. They like food. They like cooked uh, turkey legs more than burritos. So we are not all Mexican. We are people from afar that were just brought here in the Mexican world. This guy doesn't even care! Psycho the Great, those guys are killing each other, and you don't care. This is how it turns out in this prison. Find me a water pudding, again? Okay, you know what? Okay, I'll just do it. I want to complete at least one favor. Sheet of Metal. 
So what I need right now that I can think of is a way to bring down the walls. So we were looking at a pickaxe. To make that, we need timber and a file. I already have a file, so I need timber. We need a crowbar and roll of duct tape. Those are the things we need. Let's check who else is selling stuff. Nobody. Because they're naked. Obviously, they can't carry the stuff well when they are naked. Unless their underwear is the size of the world. Oh, another trouble? Can you use a trouble to ship down a wall? I don't think I can do that. Some more cooked food. But I don't really need that. So, I'm gonna make you a favor and I'm gonna bring you to the roll call. Ain't I a good guy? Chop, chop. I still haven't seen any text from my custom file. Also, because I am so distracted by all the stuff that is happening. So, we got from the very start a lot of highlighters, two troubles, which with, with which we can dig, but I don't plan to dig. Oh my god! I am so sick of digging. Escavare! Portuguese slash Spanish slash Mexican. I do try to bring my Mexican side to this season, but ooh, it will be hard. Also, Michael Schofield. I haven't watched Prison Break that much to know that guy that much. The only thing I know is that he speaks like this. Very calm. And he's a genius. I'm gonna be out of here in no time. This guy's a goddamn genius. Genius? <laughs> genius! So he's a genius that works in the gym. That's why he's a genius. Already making up words. So it's not a bad day. It is a good day to start with. Um, I could use the forks to bring down the wall, but no! I will stop myself from using those basic tools. Toothbrush chiv. Someone might ask for that. Meanwhile, just use it as a weapon of destruction. Another thing I want to do. Ooh, talking about timber. I could use also a sock. I don't know what's better don't know what's better. I'm always a dumb guy. I'm supposed to be a genius. What the heck? I also want to bring down this wall to make a pathway between these places here as well. And maybe, just maybe, I can't be sure now, but maybe I can just make my way around the prison, destroying all the walls in between rooms. That would be amazing. So I'm going to need a lot of magazines. I'm going to need a lot of roll of duct tapes to make, or I can use a fake wall, but I think posters are much better because a fake wall has durability on them and the posters don't. At least that's how it worked previously. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this very first episode into San Pacho layout. The very first one to begin with. It's hot, I'm bold, I'm Schofield, but we will get there. Please like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Asparagus Journey, and I hope you enjoy this. I'll see you next time. Arriba!